Hello everybody, how are you doing? I wanted to touch base with you and kind of give you an update on what I've been working on in the shop. It's been a while since I actually uh, did a video like this for you a couple of weeks ago and uh, I wanted to do another one because it went over really well. People liked knowing what was going on. Uh, I have not been turning too many pins. I did turn recently a Stingpunk lighter kit and I'm preparing to turn a second one of those. Uh, and then I'm hoping to get back into some pin turning. Now, I don't know how much of that I'll film because, um, you know, quite honestly, I, I don't have anything new to bring to the table. I have no new tips or techniques that I've come up with. So it, it's just, it's going to be the same old thing. So I'm not sure if I'll film. I may do some short segments and just put them together in like an update video like this. But I've got a couple of other projects I've been working on and I want to take a few minutes and I want to share those with you um, so that you know what's been going on in the shop. I have been sharing in great detail all of these projects and on my uh, Patreon channel. And if you're interested in Patreon, uh, I'll put a link in the description below. I do charge a dollar a month. It's not a lot, but I am in the shop when I'm out here. You're getting footage on everything I'm working on. I'm bouncing between all types of projects. Uh, so let me flip around. Well, actually, before I flip around and show you those projects, I'll talk about the first thing I've been doing, and the patrons got it all. I've got a presentation coming up, uh, Tips, Tricks, and Techniques for Better Pin Turning. And it is a culmination of all of the tips, tricks, and techniques I use for turning pins and uh, a way to kind of watch and avoid some of the pitfalls you can get into when turning pins, you know, to avoid uh, having issues with your blanks. And if you do have an issue, some ideas on how you can fix them. And what I did as I worked through that the very first time, I was taking photos for the presentation and then I loaded those photos up to Patreon and put a very detailed description of everything that I did uh, you know, the whole process around that photo. So they've got all of that. Uh, I, have it com I have it all pulled together into a single PowerPoint, and I have been going through that PowerPoint. As a matter of fact, I'm getting ready to run through it in a few minutes here, uh, practicing for the demonstration, which will be uh, in March at uh, Mid-Atlantic uh, Turner's Gathering. Uh, I'll put a link to that in the video description, and I'll give the entire presentation there, and I will share a link at that show where you can download that. And if you happen to be a, patri a patron, um, I will actually share that link as soon as I get it finalized. But uh, I just went over it the other day and found a couple of things I want to add. So I, I don't want to keep sending it out a hundred times. I was going to kind of wait till I got it all really well formed and then I'll share it with the patrons and we'll share it at the show and we'll figure out what we're going to do after the show. I know I got another show coming up in uh, potentially, potentially August. I will, I've been uh, asked if I was interested in doing SWAT and I am the Southwest Association of uh, Turners and I am interested in doing that. So I had to fill out an application and uh, I guess they're going to review my application along with uh, several other people. And I may potentially be a regional turner. So if I'm a regional turner, I will not release these notes prior to SWAT. Uh, because if, if it's out there and people have them and they, they have the entire presentation, why would you come to the demonstration? So the idea is don't release that. People will come to the demonstration. They'll in, hopefully enjoy it. And I'll send them away with a copy of all of the slides in full detail. So, and then we'll decide what to do with, after this season of uh, pin shows and, uh, you know, turning symposiums, I'll decide what I'm going to do with those. And I'm not exactly sure yet. You know, I, I may just drop them out there. I may do a video on them. I'm not 100% sure. Enough of that. Let me flip around and show you some of the other things that have been going on in the shop. The refurbishing of the swing that my father made is going really well. I've got all of the parts sanded to the same dimensions, uh, and that includes all of the sides, the bottoms, all the way around they're sanded, except for the edges. And the reason why is um, I was going to use a router bit. I thought, well, I'll just take them to the router, and I'll just route that one time. It'll clean it up. But the problem is, since it's already been routed once, I have to raise the router bit up, and doing so will actually put a gouge in the wood uh, so I don't want to do that. We're going to use a, a random orbit sander, and I'm going to round these uh, edges over by hand, and we're waiting for a day warm enough and dry enough, it's been raining a lot here, to do that outdoors because I don't want to fill my shop up with all of the dust. Once these pieces have been uh, uh, sanded on the edges, I'll go ahead and finish attaching uh, the, the uh, backs and the bottoms, or actually the bottoms and the backs, and then I've got this one arm that's broken that I've been working on. i got to finish patching that. Uh, and once that's done, uh, we'll be able to stain it and put it back together. So I'm getting close. 
I'm not in a hurry. I'm just taking my time, but I'm getting close and I'm really excited about this. I've got a good pattern off of it. Uh, the pattern's right here. Uh, those are all of the pieces that I need to make. And uh, I will use that uh, to reproduce this swing and hopefully make a couple of them as Christmas gifts this coming year. Here are all of the slats for the swing. And once again, they have been sanded on all four sides. We just need the edges sanded and We'll take them outside when we have a nice day and get them cleaned up. But I'm really excited to have everything fixed. Uh, everything's been repaired. It's been uh, filled and it is ready to be sanded and finished and put together. A while back, I found the letter G at a resale shop, which is the first letter of my daughter's name. And it was from a sign. So it was probably about an inch, inch and a quarter thick. Uh, and I sanded it all down, finished it put a few offsets so that set about a half inch off the wall and the back of it I filled with LED lights and it made a really incredible uh, dorm nightlight and I'll show you a photo of that right now. This A is the first letter of my son's girlfriend's name and I'm making her a dorm light. Now what I'm using for this is this old poster used to have a Lexan glass over it uh, and it, it's relatively thick. You can see how thick it is. And the Lexan got all scratched up, beat up, and I redid this poster and I used a piece of thin eighth inch plexiglass. And I've had this large piece of Lexan sitting around the shop for a while. There's another piece of it right there, the other half that I cut off. And what I decided to do, A is a really nice block letter. It's easy to work with. So I've got it all cut out with the exception of the center. I've made a hole there uh, so I can get that cut out. I'm gonna take a few practice cuts uh, with a couple of different uh, saw blades to find out which one is going to do the best job. And I'll get the center of that cut out. And then I'll start ripping this to about an inch, inch and a half thick strips, which I will glue to the back of this to make it, you know, about an, somewhere between an inch, inch and a half thick, obviously. Um, once I do, I'll sand it all up with the random orbit sander so that paint sticks real well. And I'll get some paint that can be put on plastic. I'll shoot this probably white, make a couple of offsets for the back, we'll fill it with some lights, and we'll have a really nice storm light, night light if everything goes well uh, for my son's girlfriend. So I'll keep you posted on this one. This one's not done yet, but you'll see it really soon. It is a Jimi Hendrix tribute blank on a steampunk lighter kit. Now I still have some work to do to it, uh, and uh, this will be a video, but I just want to show you, this is, I mentioned this earlier, but this is what I've been working on. Uh, my only real turning that I've done recently. I finally had a breakthrough on my metal lathe. I've been having an issue with this lathe being three thousandths off with the adapter I've been using. I had this custom made for the lathe to adapt from one inch 10 TPI to one inch eight TPI so that I could use my collet chuck. And uh, when I put that on the lathe, I can mic it out here at the uh, headstock and it's less than, it's about eight, uh, about 80 thousandths off at the headstock, but it's three thousandths off at the end of the collet chuck. So if I turn something, I can't flip it around. And I want to use this for making bespoke pins. The other day, I found a company that makes back plates. Now, this is a rough machine. It's not been machined at all, but it's a one inch by 10 TPI uh, back plate. And what I need to do is we need to turn the surface flat, square the end of it. And I've got this chuck, which is a three quarter 16 back plate. So I, I've got the holes to know exactly where to drill the holes in here. And I'll turn that down. So I've got to turn this type of a surface on the front of it. I'll turn it down to fit my chuck and then we'll true it to this lathe. This chuck should be really true. It should be uh, 80 thousandths, maybe even cleaner than that. Once I true it, I'm not sure, but I have a four jaw, four jaws that can go in here, uh, both, so both the reverse jaws and the standard jaws and we will be able to use this to hold uh, pins, flip them around and turn them. Hopefully it will allow me to turn pins true and I won't have any issues. I've also bought um, a readout to go here. It clips onto the lathe and as I move the saddle forward, uh, it will let me know how many thousands I move forward so that I can be really precise with the cutting of my pieces. So I need to get this machined uh, and that's gonna be coming up real soon. I don't know if I'm gonna record that or not because I'm really not a machinist and uh, you know, I, I don't wanna record it and explain it incorrectly and people think I'm telling them the right way to do it and then 
I could cause somebody some issues. So I don't know that I will record doing that, but I may record shots of, hey, you know, here it is, and, and I just finished it, blah, blah, just so you guys know what's going on. But I'm super excited about this because I've been wanting to use this lathe for the longest time, and that's been my holdup. And now I should be able to dial this baby in and make it work. And also, I found a guy, this is an original back plate for one of these, or face plate for one of these. I don't have the dogs for it, but uh, we can work on getting those. The dogs are not specific to the one inch by 10 TPI. Uh, a dog can go on just about any chuck. So I just need to find one uh, that uh, is the right size and we'll be able to use that. So this is really exciting for me. Those are the big things that I've been working on. I have one other big thing, but I'm not gonna show it here uh, because uh, it's a gift and I don't wanna put it out there until after the gift is given. Uh, but I will, I will talk about it then. Um, the only other thing I need to tell you about is uh, I have a number of video pins out on my Etsy channel, and today I released a 20% off coupon uh, for anything on my channel. The pins and the plans, it doesn't matter. If it's for sale on my Etsy store, you get 20% off. And that code is RJB, all capital, and the number 20. That'll get you 20% off at checkout on anything in my store. So if you've ever wanted to own one of my video pins, jump over to my Etsy store, check it out. The one you want may still be there, and this is your chance, your one and only chance to own it. So uh, thank you, everybody, for uh, hanging out with me. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I will have more videos coming. I'm just, like I said, I'm being more particular about what I post because I just don't want to post the same thing over and over. Uh, but I will have some videos coming for you soon. Take care, have a great evening, and remember, you are always welcome in my shop.